Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am going to try to explain how mask works. Uh, and I'm not talking about these types of masks, uh, but the actual drilling a hole through this shape, uh, and this serves as a mask to this shape, um, type of a deal where you have to mask out a certain object, that type of mask in the layers in grease pencil. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Let me just briefly explain how these things work. I'm going to create a new grease pencil object, 2D animation, don't save, zoom out, and I am going to um, get rid of this stroke. I'm just going to delete it and create an, a new one. Grease pencil blank because I'd like to create um, a couple of materials here in the materials tab. New, I'm going to create a, a red material. I'm just, call it, I'm just calling it red. And another new one. And I'll make this one blue. Call it blue. And then finally another one. I'll just call this one green. And call it green. All right. Uh, now that I've got my materials, I'd like to create uh, some layers. So let's create a new layer. This layer is going to be my circle. Create a new layer. This one's going to be my box, a square, and then create a new layer. And this will be my mask. And so in this circle, let's go ahead and draw a circle. Let's make it red. Create a circle that is red. Return. Um, and in the box, let's create a blue box. I want them overlapping so you can see what's going on. Return. There we go. We've got a shape. Now in the mask layer, this is the mask object, the object that's going to mask uh, the stuff underneath. So I'm going to create an oval and I'm going to paint it green. And, I'm, I, and I want it to um, cover both, both these objects, the circle and the box. And I painted it green just so you could see the difference. Okay, awesome. Every program has its own, has its own way of dealing with mask. Um, I'm used to doing mask in Photoshop, doing a clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator, and doing masks in Adobe Animate. So I, I had a little bit of a hard time grasping the mask concept here in Blender, but once you get it, it's really, really easy and it's powerful. So check this out. What you want to do is select the layer that will be masked. So this layer, we're going to activate the mask. So that doesn't mean that this is the mask layer. This is the, the layer that, that is going to be masked. So I want my, my box to be masked by this oval. And so by activating the mask, here it is. It activates the mask option. And so there's nothing here because we haven't, we haven't told it what layer the mask is. So here we're going to hit the plus and we're going to select the mask layer. Boom. And something happened. It seems like the square went away and the mask is still visible. And, and, and I'm wondering like, well, what happens is the box is still there and it's being masked by this layer. All we have to do is select the mask and crank down its opacity. Boom. And now we see the effects of the mask without seeing the physical mask. So now the box is being masked by the mask layer. That is awesome. And we could 
also reverse it. Let's say I want to see this part and this part, but not the inside. So we go to the boxed, I mean the box mask layer, and then here we've got the little um, invert. Boom, and now the mask is inverted. Very, very cool. Now, we can we apply this mask to a different layer? Yes, we can. All we have to do is activate the mask. Now, we've activated the mask on this layer, but nothing is masking it. We still have to select the mask layer here, mask, and now it's activated. Notice how uh, this is not inverted while on the box it is inverted. That is very cool. And what's even cooler than that is if we go to edit mode, we can select this mask layer uh, and animate it and move it around. We can select this and move it around and animate it and everything that you want to do to it. Uh, for example, this box, I can um, do anything that I would normally do except now that it's it's got a mask. So if we go to draw mode and you can see how powerful these masks are, uh, but it is a little um, confusing. I thought that by hitting this mask option this would convert that layer to a mask. And no, it's the opposite. It converts the layer to be masked. Um, so it just activates this feature and then you select the mask layer and that mask layer becomes the mask. And then you have to remember to um, just draw. You can still see the mask layer. That's no good, but when you put the opacity all the way down, then you can see that it's acting as a mask. And so uh, the way I did that little mask, let me open up that hero. Don't save. Let's go to render view. And right now, this is not masked. So this object is not masked because we can't see the eyes underneath. And so if we select it, and I'm sure it's this one, stroke. Let's go to object mode, there it is. And let's go to edit mode. If we select the lines layer is the actual mask, let's call it the uh, mask. And then this is the eyes, which will act as the mask. Eyes. So the actual layer that's going to be masked is the mask. Activate it. Open up the feature. Select the eyes as the mask. And now we want the opposite, so invert. And then don't forget, we have to crank down the opacity and there you have it we've got the eyes you go into object mode and just deselect it and, and there you go that's how you can do that's how you can work with mask it's easy once you get to know it and it opens up a whole new uh, avenue of doing stuff um, hey guys if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button it really does help the channel subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.